Australia is full of amazing artists who make really cool stuff. I mean, take my mate Jangling Jack and what he does with scrap metal, or even Jeff, the dry stone waller. Well, tonight we're gonna to meet someone who's just as talented. You won't believe the product he uses, and I guarantee you'll love his stuff. All these sculptures are the work of just one guy, Grant Finlay. He does his thing in the beautiful town of Berry on the New South Wales South Coast. G'day, Grant. Hey, Jase. How are you, mate? Excellent, and you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Now, you're a concrete sculptor. How does someone, you know, do you wake up in the middle of the night going, I'm going to make a big blob of concrete and <laughs> carve a bull or anything out of it? Yeah. How did it start? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, um, I've got a background in art. I had my own business doing artificial rock, concrete, big scale ponds and waterfalls. And just then it evolved. just evolved into sculpting, yeah, because art's my passion. What's the process of making it? Because wouldn't it weigh an absolute ton? It still is heavy, but it's um, not as heavy as it looks. I start with a galvanised wire frame, then I do a hessian over the top of that, and then I do another framework on the outside of that with galvanised wire. Then I do a structural coat of concrete over that in my shock brick machine, and then that's followed when that's dry by another coat of concrete and then that's all hand carved. Oh, we've checked out the bull, but we've been looking at everything else. Yeah, no worries. We look like a couple of old bulls. <laughs> now this is my favourite. I know I got to about a metre away from it before I realised that it wasn't two massive slabs of timber. But why do a massive peg? Just had the thought of why not do a, a big concrete sculpture of timber. Every mark's done by hand, I just make that up as I go, different tools that I adapt. And timber, weathered, goes this grey colour, but it's not just a flat grey like concrete would be. This particular one I, I used just the grey cement, uh, which dries quite light, and then I use different staining to build up to this colour. And you don't seal it when it's finished, so it just ages how it ages? Exactly. I mean, the right conditions, the right spot, it'll grow moss on it yeah, and lichen, lichen and, and yeah, it adds to the realism. So, oh, I like yeah. yeah. <laughs> what have been some of your biggest jobs? Done a, a huge big job in Shalaven Heads around a swimming pool. It was a big anchor, what ruined. So it was a good fun job to do. And then I built another large waterfall out of Jasper's Brush. It was a four tier waterfall going into a huge big pond. And these are fun. You must be able to do these relatively quickly. Yeah, these are a lot quicker. Obviously, not as much detail, it's more form. And the colours, are they like house paints? No, these are still a concrete stain, but more concentrated. These put a smile on your face. They do. That's the best passion fruit I've ever seen. <laughs> well, you've shown me your art, but what about you show me some of the skills to make something? You think we can knock something up? Yeah, definitely. That's I'm cool. thinking maybe a self-portrait? For sure. We might make something a little later on. Earlier on we saw how Grant does his amazing concrete sculptures and now I've got an idea and you're gonna show me how you do it. Now I went down to Vinnie's and I picked up a couple of old lampshades. So for making some balls for the garden, these are perfect. I use a uh, two to one mix, so two sand, one cement. And it's quite a sloppy mix to go into the spheres. And then you just gotta put that in the oven, what do you reckon, about 28 degrees, for a couple of days. But we've still got some concrete left over here. Yep. So what have you got in mind for that? So we give this a little while to dry out, and then we can do some freeform balls by hand. Yep. Beautiful. And then we just leave it on the bench to dry for a few hours. You're the master, I'm gonna watch you, then copy you. These are just nice little things to be able to just put in the garden. It's just that point of interest, you know, a bit of difference. Again, like I'm not too exact with it, you know, yeah, I want that yeah. rough sort of look. Yeah. So it's basically... You made that look so easy. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes as you, as you get lower, you go a bit harder to get that definition as, as it drops down, yeah. Boss, have we got a future? Yep, come and work for me anytime, mate. Just plonked on a brick wall with a plant spilling around it, and that took all of a couple of minutes. Exactly right. 
Oh, on page two, there's my Christmas shopping done for next year. <laughs> and once your concrete's dry, providing you're safe, I've got gloves on, gonna cover my eyes, you can have a bit of fun breaking the glass off. There's really no right or wrong, is there? Like, if you like that shiny effect, keep it. Exactly right. But if I do this, what's the advantage? By chipping it off, it opens the pores up and it actually lets the next stage, which is the dyeing stage, lets it absorb the colour in and then it gives that stone appearance. I sort of start with a, a light cream sort of paint first to give it flat yep. um, and then I build up colour from that. We're using a combination of watered down acrylic paints and oxides for the job. The sort of colours you'd see naturally in sandstone. Yep, that looks good. Then basically we work our colours up just have a hint of red, you know, that'll bleed in. And then this colour's sandstone. Just let it bleed over it. Wow, that really looks like stone now. That's the beauty of splashing it as we do it. If I didn't make that, I'd swear it was sandstone. You could age it if you wanted to, but I can put it in the garden and watch it age naturally. If you don't want to go to the extent of chipping away and you can use a neat white cement for a more modern look for a modern garden. Or well, you could be like us, natural. That's right. Chiseled out of stone. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Out of ball. No worries.